All right, hello everybody. This is Scott Tig with you again. And I just wanted to uh, show you what I've been doing uh, over the past uh, end of last year, and uh, of course the uh, first of this year. I've been wanting to tear out the Williamson paper mill, and you see here it's been all tore out, redone. But uh, done this this past weekend, and. You can see where it comes into the main line right there, and it used to stop about right in here, and it didn't haul, you know, hold that much cars and stuff like that for what a paper mill should have. So, tore this out last weekend, this past weekend, and I'll show you uh, what I've come up with now. It's, it's a longer run to here now, and. Now it can hold, the box cars will go in here. It can probably about hold about four box cars in, in this on this line here in, inside the uh, building. This track here will be for uh, hopper cars, covered hoppers. Still have to build a uh, shed here for the hopper cars to go in. Uh, this area here is for the tank cars. And come up with this last night. Um, it's an unloading facility. It'll go here. Uh, probably about five or six tank cars can go here for unloading. Uh, still need a little bit more to do on here. Uh, this will have your piping and all that stuff. Ain't, ain't run yet, but this is just what I got so far. Uh, all the roads here... Uh, Somebody asked me how I make my roads and stuff for the layout. What I use is uh, with a clear styrene out of uh, poster frames. Um, it's very easy to cut, plus you can see through it. So when you put it down to where you need like a road or a parking lot or something like that, uh, you can see through it and you can make lines to where you need to cut it. And it cuts very well with a good pair of handy scissors. And so you just cut it and uh, put it in here, see if it fits, if everything fits. Then you just uh, rough it up with some sandpaper. I use 80 grit sandpaper, rough it up, and then paint it whatever colors you want. Uh, this is concrete here uh, with probably three different uh, shades of uh, gray. Um, turned out really good. But like I said, this is just a rough stage. Um, this road here will come over the tracks here into this parking lot and then it will go the trucks will you know load here and then they'll go out here and then go over the tracks right here um, but like I said the the far far track will hold the uh, wood chip cars and there'll probably be about five or six wood chip cars behind the building here because I didn't have enough room to build uh, unloading facility for wood chips so they'll be back there and you won't be able to see it and stuff like that so it'll hide all that but far as the you know the box cars and the hopper cars and tank cars I got a lot of more room now for a lot more cars so the facility should look like you know a real paper mill with a lot of loading cars unloading cars a lot of switching right here couldn't be done with this facility now and uh, the local that used to to work this facility before I changed it used to take him about an hour a little over an hour to, to do his work now it's going to take him a lot longer here so be a lot more fun for for switching uh, this industry plus the two industries that's over here at Williamson anyway but uh, I just wanted to show you what I got and I'll I'll give you some more uh, video of what, I, what I'm progressing and stuff like that and uh, somebody asked me before I go somebody asked me about my ballast how do you ballast the track what do you use so I'll see if I can get get it here to show it I don't know if you can see that or not but this is a uh, I don't know if you can see it in the cup or not. Get a focus, but 
well it's real granite dust i uh, went to the gravel quarry got their finest uh, gravel dust they had and then took it back and sifted it out and this is real granite rock so i use real granite rock i don't use woodlick scenics or another brands i use the real stuff hadn't had any problems with it in over you know 26 years so really looks realistic because it's the real thing but i'll sift it out and uh ballast this last night and what i use is uh to weather my track i use rust oleum uh the camouflage brown and painted the track and then i ballast the track when it's dry and that's what you come up with it really looks good so if you if you're looking for some ballast give that give your local uh, gravel quarry a try and get the finest ballast uh, dust they got and sift it out you can uh, sift it out in ho in scale whatever but it really looks good and like i said when i get done with some more on the paper mill uh, and anybody that wants to uh know some stuff what i'm doing uh feel free to comment below and uh, i'll answer your questions and you may do a video about it i'll i'll do that but uh till then um happy modeling and i'll see you next time